Welcome to the University of Nicosia Open Metaverse Initiative. This tutorial will demonstrate how to set up a Ledger Nano X hardware wallet and secure your crypto assets. If you are serious about the safety of your assets, it is highly recommended that you invest in a hardware wallet. As covered in previous sessions, an Ethereum wallet is used to hold different types of digital assets or tokens that exist on the Ethereum network. In reality, what you actually own is a set of private keys that provide access to your wallet, which makes keeping them safe extremely important. Wallets come mainly in two forms. Software wallets that store your private keys on your computer. A common example is MetaMask. Hardware wallets that are dedicated devices to store your private keys. Common examples are the hardware wallets produced by companies such as Trezor or Ledger. Hardware wallets, also referred to as cold wallets, provide a higher level of security to protect assets that have financial or sentimental value. Private keys remain unexposed. All transactions require verification on the hardware device before interacting with the blockchain network. They offer increased access security using password or PIN encryption. Hardware encryption techniques are used as an additional layer of device security. The Ledger Nano X package includes a Ledger device, a micro USB cable, three recovery seed cards, two stickers, a keychain, a getting started guide, and a use, care and regulatory statement. To be able to operate the device, you need to be familiar with its basic action buttons. Keep these actions in mind while using the device. Action 1. Press the left button briefly to switch on the device. Action 2. To navigate through the menus and lists, use the left and right buttons. Action 3. Press both buttons simultaneously to validate a selection. Action 4. To access the device's settings, for example, power off or the settings menu, press and hold both buttons for 2 seconds. To charge and use the device on your computer, connect it using the USB-C cable included in the box. More on this later. There are a couple of different ways to set up the device. In this tutorial, we will focus on using Ledger Live. Ledger devices come with a software called Ledger Live, which is available both as a desktop and a mobile app. This software provides you with a safe interface for accessing and managing your device. Navigate to www.ledger.com start. Download the Ledger Live app to your computer. Simply click the download button and select your device from the drop-down menu. In this tutorial, we are installing Ledger Live on a Mac, but a similar process applies to other operating systems, like Windows. Open the Ledger Live app on your computer to access the application's user interface. Choose your preferred language and click the Get Started button to proceed. Read and accept the terms and conditions and then click Enter Ledger app. The setup process is similar for all Ledger devices. In this tutorial, we are using Ledger Nano X. You will then be presented with a couple of options, to set up a new device, to access your device through Ledger Live, and to restore your recovery phrase on a new device. In this tutorial, we are setting up a new device, so click on the top option, Set up a new Nano X. In the next step, you will be presented with a couple of educational slides. Go through them and read them carefully. Once ready, click on the arrow button to proceed. Finally, click on the Let's Do This button. For the next step, you should be in a quiet and safe environment. Also, do not forget to grab a pen. Once ready, proceed to the next step. For this part of the setup process, you will need the physical device. We will be mostly interacting with the physical device and use the Ledger Live app to guide us through the process if needed. Turn on the device. If the device is charged, you can proceed with the setup process by turning it on and following the on-screen instructions on the device. Otherwise, connect your Ledger device to your computer using the USB-C cable provided. The device will power up. If it does not, press the left button briefly to turn it on. Remember, at any point during the process you can consult the instructions shown on the Ledger Live app. 
although the actual steps are taken on the physical device. On the device you will be presented with a welcome screen. Press the right button to proceed. You will then be prompted with several instructions on how to use the device. Next, you will be presented with the following options. To set up this device as a new device, or to restore from a seed recovery phrase, go ahead and select set up a new device, and press both buttons to proceed. The device will ask you to set up a PIN. This PIN controls access to the physical device. Remember that the PIN is wallet dependent and can be used to unlock only this specific device. Go for the 8 digit PIN and set one up. Choose a digit for each position and then press both buttons to lock the selection for that position. Repeat the process. At the end, the device will ask you to enter it once more for confirmation. Note that this is the most important step of the process and the whole purpose of using a hardware wallet. As with a MetaMask wallet, the seed phrase is a series of words automatically generated by the wallet. Seed phrases should be stored offline as a backup mechanism in case your software or hardware wallet is lost or broken. Seed phrases should be stored offline as a backup mechanism in case your software or hardware wallet is lost or broken. With the seed phrase, you can recover your wallet even if your computer or hardware device is lost. At this step of the setup process, you will be presented with a 24-word seed phrase that is automatically generated. Remember, do not use password managers, screen recordings or anything in a digital form to store your seed phrase. Grab a pen and write the seed phrase down in the correct order. You can use the recovery sheets provided. Once you finish, the device will ask you to verify your 24 words, press both buttons to continue. For each word, you will be presented with a couple of choices. Use the left and right buttons to find the correct word and then press both buttons to confirm. Repeat the process until the last word is entered. Your recovery seed phrase is now set. Remember to always keep it safe. Remember, without the seed phrase, you cannot recover your wallet in the future. There is not a forgot password option. Never, ever reveal your seed phrase to anyone, or store it in digital form in the cloud or in a password manager. Your seed phrase provides full access to your funds and assets. Your seed phrase should be kept offline. Use the recovery card to write it down and store it in a safe location or locations. Well done! Your ledger device is now ready for use. However, there is one last check that is recommended. Go back to the Ledger Live Desktop app and skim through the next step until you see the game on screen. Take the short educational quiz. Once you successfully finish the quiz, Ledger Live will perform a genuine check for your device. This is an additional security measure introduced by Ledger, since there are devices on the market that are malicious. To proceed, connect your Ledger device to your computer using the USB-C cable provided and enter your PIN to unlock it. Look for the All Good message on screen. This means that you are using a genuine Ledger Nano X device. In the next step, we will demonstrate how to install the Ledger app and create an Ethereum address that you can use to send, receive, and secure your assets. After setting up your hardware device, there are two more steps before you can receive and secure your assets. Ledger can manage multiple wallets with the use of Ledger apps. To set up an Ethereum wallet, we need to install the Ethereum app on the Ledger so that we can create our Ethereum addresses. From the Ledger Live app on your computer, click onto My Ledger from the left-hand side menu bar. Then connect your Ledger device to your computer and unlock it. Once the device is connected, you will see a list of apps in the app catalog. In this tutorial, we will be installing the Ethereum app. The process is similar for all other supported apps. 
search for the Ethereum app and click Install. If asked for confirmation on the device, authorize it. Once the app is installed, you will be able to see the app icon on your device. You can access the Ethereum app on your device by pressing both buttons on your device. Using the Ethereum app, you can create an Ethereum address. Click on Portfolio from the left-hand side menu bar, then Add Account and select Ethereum from the drop-down list. Follow the on-screen instructions and then click Done. By repeating the process, you can add as many Ethereum accounts as you wish. Your Ethereum address is now ready to use. From the menu bar, select Receive. Then choose the account you would like to use. In this case, we are using an Ethereum account. This process will reveal your Ethereum public address that you can use to receive assets. Make sure you copy the address. At this stage, you will be asked to verify the address on the ledger device. If the address matches the one on screen, go ahead and approve. You can share your public Ethereum address or send to this Ethereum address from an external wallet or from an exchange. Alternatively, you can fund your Ethereum address with Ether that you can buy using a payment provider. Please note that the payment processors used for funding the wallet are just a representative sample used only for educational purposes and that we are not endorsing these specifically. Connecting your hardware wallet with MetaMask is a safe way to interact with Ethereum-based apps while keeping your private keys completely offline. Open the MetaMask browser extension and unlock it with your MetaMask password. Then select Connect Hardware Wallet. Select Ledger as the hardware wallet you wish to connect. At this stage, make sure that your ledger is connected to your computer, is unlocked, and that the Ethereum app is open. The available Ethereum accounts on your ledger will appear. Select the Ethereum address you wish to link with MetaMask and click Unlock. You can now use this account to send, receive and store assets on your hardware wallet through MetaMask. You can also track your Ethereum address using the Blockchain Explorer, as well as transact across all Ethereum-based applications that support MetaMask. For example, you can mint your course NFT using MetaMask while linked to your hardware wallet.